Super Solid's reducing the number of players that will qualify for the Brawl Stars World Championships by up to 70%? And is Insane 16 now possible because of Edgar? Did he break Brawl Stars? Will he be receiving an emergency nerf by Monday? And is it Kairos Time's birthday today? Find out at 9 o'clock. My name is OJ, and this is the Juicy News Network. <laughs> this series is so dumb, I love it. Brawl Stars Esports, a small but significant change for Brawl Stars 2021. We plan on lowering the max number of losses in the championship challenges to three, down from four. Max losses will reduce reaching 15 wins harder and we expect it will reduce the number of teams in the monthly qualifiers to one third of 2020 qualifiers. Qualifiers will use Swiss format, a huge improvement for all teams involved, but is a bit trickier to manage with thousands of teams. We already had 15-3 back in January and even Frank managed to get 15 wins. On average, out of 852 teams that enter the pool, only one team will hit 15 wins. But hey, if you're a pro player and you're watching this, you've probably already won the challenge 15-0, 15-1, 15-2, so it doesn't even matter to you because you're pro. You're awesome. In other news, Blitz hit Insane 12 with a big boss, using Edgar without any bugs, glitches, cheeses, or exploits. Edgar is that strong that he broke the game when he came out and the shop refreshed, the game servers were overloaded. From 12 a.m. to 5 a.m., the game would not load. Basically, Frank described that there's two servers, the login server to log you into the game and the server for matchmaking. People were logging in in the millions per second. Even after you got in, matchmaking would take five minutes according to Tom. Supercell secretly nerfed Tick in the balance sheet. Tick decreased main attack reload speed by 4.5%, but they didn't tell us about a secret nerf. They also nerfed his star power. Automatic reload down from 10% to 9%. He reloads 1% slower, and Supercell didn't reveal this. More about Brawl Stars Esports for 2021. There's going to be eight open regional seasons with online monthly finals. In-game esports section. So I imagine that'd be beside the video tab. New region, seven regions total. Eight teams per region qualify for monthly finals. 16 teams go to 2021 world finals. First season starts in February, first broadcast in March. Increased support for community tournaments. I should do community map tournaments, like a thousand dollar Mil Molas tournament, that'd be funny. In other news, Drage is the world first to hit rank 35 edgar just the other day we had spen the world champion 2019 from tribe gaming the best esports organization by the way hit rank 35 byron the world first no one will ever be able to take away that title from him and for the final segment of this let's check out what's happening in the community for brawl stars i'm kind of curious for clash royale we have a lot of clash royale crl esports all the news all the drama i don't like co covering drama so we're not going to cover drama there's an optional update for brawl stars so there's a lot of fixes it fixes the quest issues emoji issues a lot of crash issues if you have the chance go to the app store if you're ios go to the google play store if you're android that's going to fix a lot of issues it's optional because they don't want to force it on people it's going to fix a lot of glitches if you haven't downloaded it yet also this is fine <laughs> Wasn't it Amber before? And it was Spike before. That's so cute. El Primo Super, how it feels. Edgar is super, how it feels. Yeah, that's so true. It's because he just floats instantly. 100%. <laughs> Byron's the one that's kind of drowning. You have Edgar, who's the golden child right now. And Lou. <laughs> he came out this season? <laughs> what? Not even release day Rosa can survive this. Colt instantly kills the closest brawler in sight. It's true. Needs a nerf. Hot Rod Piper by Vladimir9836962020. Those are cute pins. And I really like the style of this. I'm digging it. You have the manga, the anime, the Netflix adaptation. <laughs> L O L. L O L. LOL. I don't like LOL. That's no. I like this. This is this is well made. I just unlocked Edgar. Well, of course you did. He's free. <laughs> Four memes in one. The subreddit making theories. Red, red. Brothers? This. This is what's up. 
You have Mil Molas. You have Sky Wars. Fusion into this monstrosity. I have yet to play this. The whole trophy pushing thing is nothing that we're super focused on as developers. It's a side effect of lacking a better way to compete. However, the matchmaking side will improve. To underline this, here's my hand visualization of the current matchmaking situation we want to fix. Regular outlier. <laughs> Ryan just memed on Frank. Uh. <laughs> CEO of Supercell. CEO of Reddit. CEO of Tribe Gaming. CEO of Brawl Stars. Me waking up as a six-year-old. Me waking up as a 14-year-old. That's so true. Brock's voice line. I'm lagging! Edgar. We. Because of the great lagging of 2020. Big things are coming for Clash Royale Esports in 2021. Clash Royale return bigger, better. Bowler? Compete in an all new global format. Open to all players. Qualify in game by topping the leaderboard. Eight seasonal qualifiers with over $600,000 in total prizes. We'll see the best players in Clash Royale's battle for a spot at a million dollar world finals meaning that the new pool is 1.6 million. This had a lot of controversy. They're basically disbanding all the teams, but now it's gonna be easier to qualify. If you're top 1,000 in game or something like that, then you will be able to qualify for this. And you, Drew even said somewhere that you can win up to $100,000 if you're consistently good. $600,000, eight qualifiers, over $75,000 available in each tournament. They're gonna be much stricter on win trading since this is now on ladder. They've already ramped up enforcement and seen rates of the problems drop across the board. Seth mentions that he understands the disappointment from existing orgs and players. Change is always tough, but I don't think we've seen the last of those who retired. They love to compete and might find themselves deep in the competition by sheer force of talent. They're saying that they model 2021 on the competitive formats of individual sports like golf and tennis. Earn points and prizes. Top earners are tracked for world invites. Interesting. Will a top 10 finish earn you more points than a 1,000th finish? Seth says about 40 times more points. Wow. There's a ton more details coming on for that. I'm excited for that. There's been a lot of backlash in the pro community if you follow the Twitter, but I am optimistic for the future. It's going to open up new opportunities. They haven't told us everything yet, so I have nothing to be mad about <laughs> because I don't know the full picture yet. In other news, Drew talks about the CRL future. Make sure to check out Clash with Ashes channel. He talks about the interview for part one and for part two about everything that they have. Although on Reddit, Reddit user NightGamerZ is saying, is it just me or it had very little substance for a 23 minute video. There was no real conviction, no confidence, no concrete updates, no honesty or real emotions in the words. It was like he was saying something for the sake of it. I'm going to defend Drew a little bit. I'm very monotone when I speak to my friends in real life. So I, I kind of have to like give more emotion to it or it's it's gonna be a very boring video this is how i usually talk so anyone that meets me in real life <laughs> don't be disappointed i'm not mad i'm just monotone drew did confirm that clown wars 2 is here to stay in other news let's check out what's on the clash royale subreddit burnt cake posted this night witch by willy i wish there was a watermark somewhere so we could reference the instagram witch and night witch hunter not wanting to serve the enemy and kills himself. <laughs> he exploded and he killed the piglet. <laughs> he committed Sudoku. I know it's not Sudoku, but that's the joke. New idea. Cracked mirror. Clone your opponent's last played card for one elixir. Kind of cool. A little complicated, but a little cool. There was actually a card in 2016 like this. It was called the Dark Mirror. And it got scrapped because it, it was just really confusing. It went all over the place. Here's a little concept for the daily shop. Reroll. Yes. Yes. That's what we need. Santa King is here. I would love a Santa King skin. Mysterio trophies. Really cool art. Really festive too. That's really cool. Merry Logmas, everyone. In case anyone is wondering why climbing ladder is more difficult this season. Trophy balance changes. Players will now lose more trophies for a loss on 1v1. Since we've introduced Trophy Road, we noticed an increase in player sentiment and mismatched players due to the ease at which players can now earn trophies. Players, this change should make things more enjoyable. So now it's going to be a bit harder to gain trophies. Good thing I gained 7,000 trophies. I, I, I retire as champion. Picture tells all. Oh my goodness. That's impossible. This had to be a setup. We're going to have to wrap it up here by wishing Kairos time a happy birthday. My name is OJ. And on behalf of everyone from the Juicy News Network, stay classy.